Germany's uh, defense ministry says it's supplying Ukraine with an additional Patriot air defense system. It said the system comes from German military stocks and would be handed over immediately. Russia has been stepping up its missile and drone attacks on Ukrainian cities and infrastructure. Ukraine's president thanked Berlin, saying the delivery comes at a critical time. For more, let's uh, speak to Marina Moran from the War Studies Department at King's College London. Marina, why is Germany sending another defense system right now? Hello, Michael. Well, Chancellor Scholz apparently had a call with President Zelensky in order to agree on sending another Patriot um, air defense system to Ukraine specifically because of the intensified uh, Russian strikes on Ukrainian critical infrastructure. We remember a couple of days ago, Russia managed to destroy one of the biggest power plants in Ukraine, the Tripilia power station. So I, I think that for Germany, this is um, a way to get out of this diplomatic deadlock about the Taurus missiles. So at least Germany is doing something and sending a Patriot battery which Ukraine could use right now um, in order kind of to normalize the relations with Ukraine, specifically because of this issue that um, Chancellor Scholz doesn't want to provide uh, Taurus missiles to Ukraine. As you well know, this is now the third Patriot system Berlin is supplying. What difference does this system make in Ukraine's defense? Well, overall, it's better than nothing. But um, Ukraine said that it needs some 25 Patriot systems in order to cover the entire area and to protect it from Russian airstrikes. We have to understand that the coverage area of one Patriot system is estimated to be um, 15 to 20 kilometers um, when it comes to ballistic missiles. So you can imagine that it's just... Uh, a very, very small area, considering the fact that uh, Kiev still has a lot of critical infrastructure left. So the question is, where will the system be placed? And the other question is, the missiles, the Pac-3 um, or even Pac-2 missiles that the system uses, they are also costly. And who is going to provide them long term to Ukraine? So it's not just the system that you send, you also need to supply Ukraine with enough missiles. Again, Ukraine's president says the delivery comes at a critical time. How critical? Well, the time is very critical, both in terms of Russian airstrikes on critical infrastructure, and they are being very successful, especially in the past months. And on the front, we're seeing a lot of movement westwards um, by the Russian forces because the Ukrainian armed forces lack the technology, lack the artillery shells, and lack manpower, so they are not able to hold the Russian uh, offensives or the mini offensives, I would call them. Um, they are not able to do that. And so it, it is a critical juncture for Ukraine. But whether one air defense system is able to change that dynamic is questionable. Mm. It bears repeating this is a defensive system. And one imagines more Patriot systems won't help Ukraine get back to an offensive position. Well, absolutely not. While you can certainly use this system close to the line of contact, the Russians will certainly be hunting for, for Patriot systems. They've been hunting for Iris D and S-300 and have managed to destroy some and allegedly some Patriot batteries, according to Russian sources. That being said, um, there is a risk of having that system so close to the line of contact. And obviously, the line of contact, if we look at, at the front, it's over a thousand kilometers. One uh, Patriot system is not going to defend against Russian glide bombs, for instance. So it's not going to be a substantial difference. It's more of a diplomatic gesture than anything else. That's uh, Marina Moran from uh, King's College London. As always, Marina, many thanks. Thank you for having me.